Hi. Hi, Frisco. Got your light on. I figured you were in here. You know where Felicia is? No, I haven't seen her. Have you tried Kelly's? No, I, I guess I'll go check that out. What are you doing? Well, we're just trying to find some precedents for Kevin's trial. Yeah? It's tough work, huh? No. Not really difficult. It's just time-consuming and tedious. Oh, oh. yeah, uh, Terry was helping out with this stuff. Yeah, I made her take a break. How come you were at the Academy so late? Studying the penal code. Listen, those books you lent me on criminal law really helped out. Thanks. Oh, quite all right. I know how much you want to pass that test and get out of the Academy. Yeah, as soon as I do, uh, I'm going to get married. What's happening with Kevin? Oh, we, the DA filed for continuance. Saves me the time and the trouble. I'm going to postpone the trial until Lucy Cole turns up. You don't know this. Patrick has been subpoenaed by the prosecution. Patrick? Yeah. Well, he told me about the two notes that Anna had you planned in his and Kevin's room. Yeah, they both burned them. Is that going to cause a problem? Sit down, Frisco. Let me ask you something. It's just between you and me. All right. What? You really think Kevin's innocent? Yeah. Do you have any doubts? Jake, are you telling me you don't believe in Kevin? I wouldn't defend him if I didn't, Frisco. That's not an answer. I don't know. I just have nothing, no concrete reason to believe him. I'm going on gut feeling, mostly because of Terry. Why are you asking me how I feel? I have a strange feeling inside. But maybe you do too. Kevin's a puzzle, you know. Nobody seems to know who he really is. Yeah. The press calls him the baby-faced killer. How could they help it? A model son, a dedicated medical student, he's a regular Charlie citizen. It's almost too good to be true. You know, the other thing is the prosecution is going on one eyewitness, a guy who could very easily have made a mistake. I don't need convincing Frisco. Maybe I've just been looking at these law books too long. Felicia's doing some detective work for me. I'd sure appreciate it if you give her a hand. What kind of detective work? Basketball <sighs> players trying to see if there's anything we can use to discredit Red Flynn. If we can do that and get Lucy Coe to testify that Kevin was at the library that morning, we're home free. Well, I wonder why this Lucy... Wasn't she due back tonight? Yeah. She still hasn't shown up. Anna thinks that something may have happened to her, too. The DA must think that she's going to testify for them. Well, Kevin swears she's going to testify on his side. This is weird. What's a Lucy Coe? <laughs> I don't know. But if we can't find her, and even if we can, if we can't get her to back up Kevin's story, my defense is down the tubes. Hang in. I'm trying. Hi, Frisco. Hey, How's Frisco. Hey. Hi. Hi, honey. How you doing? Can you just get back from the academy? Yeah, I thought you might be here. How's it going, Terry? Okay, I guess. I've been trying to help Jake. Yeah. Yeah, I was just with him. He's still hitting the law books. Yeah. What did you hear about the librarian? Did he hear anything? Uh, she's still not back in town, he says. She's got to show up. I know Jake is counting on her testimony to clear... Hey, what? A 2-12. Quick. Uh, breaking and entering. No, Frisco. It's armed robbery in the process. Oh. Breaking and entering is a 215. Hey, Felicia, I'm never going to get these damn penal codes and articles right, and there's no no use. Yes, you will, Cadet Jones. I am planning my wedding day for after graduation. Now, what is a 212? Armed robbery. 215 is breaking and entering. I guess you see her. I know. Good morning. What's up, Bobby? Good morning. I was um, in Jake's apartment because I had to bring him some cream for his coffee. Excuse oh. me. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> I thought Jake had his coffee black. I think they're in love. I think everybody should be in love. Oh, me too. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a double wedding, huh? First, I have to pass criminal law. I'll see you later on, all right? Okay, good luck. Oh, what time are you going to be home? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I have to help Jake out with some legal things after class, all right? Okay. Bless you, then. When you decided to become a cop, you didn't just choose a career, you chose a whole way of life. Now, I know some of you are thinking about getting married, and that's fine. I'm all in favor of the institution of marriage. But when you become a cop, you are married to your job. And your fellow police officers, they're your mates. And I don't want you to ever question which one comes first, especially when your life is on the line. If you watch out after your fellow officers, they'll be there for you. When you join the family of police officers, What's with find a long tradition with this. And you're going to find out so that right, Frisco. these people who come with you with my dad and my lives. brothers. You're going to be with them. There's a kind of love between them. I want you to realize that they will um, never different than let any you other down. kind of love. Never. Mom and I were so always outside. So if any of you outside. are thinking about the fact that you may not have here. the kind of devotion that's necessary for this kind of work, I think it'd be best now if you save yourself a lot of work, trouble, time, and just drop out now. Of course, some of you may not have that choice unless you get your grades up. Okay, lecture over. Class attention. And dismiss. Jones, Eight. Barton, Wells, Kate, you say. How's the penal code coming, Jones? Uh, studying real hard on the old penal code, sir. Good, rest of you? Yes, sir. Every minute I can. All right. That's good, because we're going to have a little pop quiz. Pop quiz now? Yeah. You got a problem with that, Jones? No, sir. Good. Take your notebooks out. It's going to be a time quiz. I hope this doesn't take long. i got a date with a couple co-eds at the university. You're kidding. Is Felicia now? If she finds out, she's going to kill this you. This has nothing to do with me personally. I'm trying to help Jake with Kevin's case. Doing what? This star witness flipped from town, and I gotta try to find out why. Fisco, why are you so interested in Lucy Coe? I can't believe she's your type. Oh, no, no, no. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not asking for me. You see, I'm asking for this friend of mine. He's the one who's interested. I've never heard anybody to be interested in Lucy. Really? Oh, come on. I mean, you guys are librarians. You work together in the library. I mean, she's had to mention something about her, her boyfriend. Right? No. Besides, Lucy doesn't even date. Never. She's always got her nose in the book. Not even date? No. She didn't say anything to you about where she was going on her vacation? Not to me. Don't tell me she's run off with a man. <laughs> well, hi there, Mr. Clutch. Uh, just order me a regular set. I'll be right with you. Okay. Come on, guys. May I have a word with you? Yeah. Excuse me, girls. <laughs> what are you doing? Who are those people? They are co-workers of Lucy Coe's. Who are your three pretty fellas? Oh, uh, well, they're members of the university basketball team. Mm -hmm. Jade and I are questioning them, asking them about Red Flynn. Oh, Red Flynn, how nice. Are you jealous? Yes. How does that feel to you? Good, we'll question each other when we get home tonight. I can't wait. I can't believe none of you know who Red Flynn is. He's supposed to be one of the best coach PC you ever had. Oh, I've heard of him, but he was before our time. Yeah, he left the coaching staff three years ago. Why did he leave? Who knows? From what I heard, he was there one day and gone the next. Well, there must be some reason if he was good if the coach just doesn't drop out like that. I guess. I you know, I heard a rumor once that he was fired. Did you hear why? <laughs> How come you two are so interested in Red Flynn? Yeah. Well, I met him and he seemed like a very interesting guy to me. You have to excuse Felicia. She's a sociology major. She always looks for a good mystery in everybody she meets. Yeah, that's, that's right. And when I met Red Flynn, he impressed me as a man who was hiding something. Oh, Frisco, you're just in time oh. to help us celebrate. Hi. Oh, I'll get another cup. Bobby's herbal tea will put you away. Yeah. Uh, what are we celebrating here, huh? Terry was on Jimmy's show today. 
Oh, that's right. Felicia mentioned me, Jenny asked you. How'd it go? Well, it went well. Uh, they keep trying to make me into some kind of Joan of Arc. Uh -huh. She was great, Frisco, really. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Hi How are the giraffes? How are the cheerleaders? Uh -huh. Do y'all want some tea? Ah, uh, I'd love some. What's this mm. about cheerleaders and giraffes? Yeah, your day sounds like a lot more fun than mine. Oh, well, Felicia and Jay were just interviewing a few cute little basketball players from the uh, college about oh. Red Flint. Oh, you must have liked that. <laughs> well, uh, did you find out anything? Uh, not much. But one of them said he heard rumors about Flynn being fired from coaching three years ago. Did he know why? No, but somebody will know. I'm working on it. Yeah, well, what, what about the cheerleaders? They were librarians. And I was just yeah. talking to them about this little Lucy Co. See if they knew anything about her. Any luck? Mm. No, nothing. She's practically a non-person. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She doesn't have a girlfriend. Practically doesn't exist. And they sure the hell don't know where she went when she left town. Well, she's got to show up sometime, Frisco. Yeah, let's go some time to help Kevin. Oh, we're out of tea. I think I'll make a fresh pot. Uh, you need some help? No. Uh, Patrick, it's kind of nice to have you back in the brownstone. I'm sorry I kicked you out, but your room's still empty if you want to move back in. I thought you would never ask. You know, living in the hospital dorm's really the pits. Where's Jake tonight? Um, Anna called. The DA wanted to see him on the double. Well, maybe this means they found Lucy Cove. 